Alrighty, so it's been confirmed. Firehawk is being removed from King's Island. A lot of you already knew that, a lot of you were predicting that, and it was of no surprise. So for those of us that guessed Firehawk, it's nothing special. <laughs> Everyone in the Coaster community pretty much knew it was going to be Firehawk. There was a bit of speculation that it could have been Vortex. A couple of those teasers definitely um, hinted a little bit, I guess, at uh, Vortex being removed. But uh, oh, definitely the biggest rumor was Firehawk, and it looks like that was correct. Um, so someone sent me in this photo to use in today's video. So thank you to you, whoever you know who you you know you know who you are. Thank you to you for sending me in this photo. Um, this is from way back when Firehawk was first being installed at Kings Island. Um, and then obviously I just added in the little flare of flies no more. Um, anyways, this has been one of and is going to continue being one of the biggest coaster rumors um, <laughs> of the year and of next year and of however long it takes until Kings Island gets its new coaster. Um, and that's OK, because there's nothing wrong with good speculation. Now, let's just not get a little um, too excited because whatever's coming may not come in 2020. It may come in 2020. It may not, though. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. So Canada's Wonderland is a prime example of coasters being removed and then plans being delayed or a coaster coming a little couple years after. So who knows? But a lot of people are speculating that Kings Island is up for a coaster in 2020. Um, that timeline's a little interesting because it does conflict with Cedar Point's coaster. Um, again, that is just a rumor as well. We don't necessarily know that Cedar Point is getting a coaster in 2020, but a lot of people are assuming that a coaster is coming to both Kings Island and Cedar Point in 2020. Now, here's why I'm hoping that's the case, because that would be really interesting. Two, two um, theme parks in the same state getting big coasters in 2020. And I'm telling you, if Kings Island's getting a coaster in 2020, 2021, or 2022, it's going to be massive. They just removed a coaster to make room for another coaster. Now, a lot of people are strictly on the B&M Giga hype train now. Uh, and uh, I, I'm definitely going to be one of them. I definitely do think, even though something down deep inside me is saying, it's not going to be a Giga, it's not going to be a Giga. It's probably the Giga Dive Theory that has me going, it's not going to be a Giga anymore because I don't want to hop on that Giga bandwagon. But um, I definitely do think a Giga is coming to Kings Island. It's been talked about. It's been hinted. It's been teased it's been <laughs> literally every aspect of the coaster community the king's island giga has somehow crept in there um, or into a conversation now what's interesting is i wouldn't necessarily rule out a wing coaster um and and here's why so a wing coaster has also been somewhat teased at king's island it's appeared here and there um and breaking some records on a wing coaster could be very easy and taking away a record from Gatekeeper, for example, isn't as nasty as building this awesome, brand new, sparkly, massive Giga Coaster in the same state as Cedar Point that has a Giga Coaster that is now being slightly overshadowed by the newer Gigas other than Leviathan. I think Millennium Force is starting to be greatly overshadowed by the Giga Coasters and adding another one in the chain and just in the same state could be a little detrimental to the icon Millennium Force. So that's the only theory I have for Kings Island not getting a Giga um, and possibly a wing coaster. So I wouldn't take that too seriously as that that's not necessarily too valid of an argument to argue against Kings Island getting a Giga coaster. Now, another thing that works in favor of Kings Island getting a Giga coaster is the fact that Kings Island really does need that world record breaking roller coaster. The attractions that Kings Island has added over the years since 1995, which has, I guess some could argue, has led to them not increasing in attendance numbers significantly like the other Cedar Fair parks, is the smaller scale attractions. They've removed roller coasters like Son of Beast and replaced them with smaller scale, yet really high thrill attractions. No insult to their attractions. They're absolutely amazing, especially Banshee and Mystic Timbers. But they haven't been out of this world wow. Um, and I think this is where it's Kings Island's time to have that wow coaster come in. And I'm really excited because it's something that could finally boost attendance significantly at Kings Island, the boost that they're looking for. Whereas events like Winterfest have been their biggest boost in the coming years. 
So this is where it gets even more interesting because it's going to be a big topic of discussion for years to come. Um, until they finally announce what's coming to Kings Island or start teasing it for 2020 is what are they going to build? I mean, we're not even looking at other coaster models like Mock or Intamin, even though I'm never going to put my foot fully uh, or my <laughs> my support fully behind Intamin at a Cedar Fair Park anytime soon. We aren't discussing other manufacturers. It seems to just be the B&M Giga. Um, so I want to hear from you guys down below because all I've been hearing lately is B&M Giga. What do you guys think is next for Kings Island after the removal of Firehawk? We know that something has to come. Um, Cedar Fair never usually, usually I use in quotations, uh, removes a coaster and doesn't replace it, especially at one of their top parks like Kings Island. So what do you guys think is coming to Kings Island in 2020, we'll say for now? Um, and, uh, and why, uh, I want to hear what you think is coming and why, because I'm actually really interested in this as this isn't my home park. And yes, I don't have the best knowledge of Kings Island, but I want to hear why. Um, and if you're a, a giga supporter, I want to hear why as well. I really want to hear these arguments. I want to get a better understanding of Kings Island and what's next as this is going to be a really big topic of discussion moving forward. So hope you guys liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others. And stay tuned for a lot more Kings Island content coming. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, and for the footage, thanks to FYE Coasters, by the way, for the footage of Firehawk. Have a good one, guys. Bye.